Hey guys, it's Gretchen, and welcome back to my channel. So it's that time of the month again, where it's time for my monthly stitch fix. The stitch fix is gonna be different, and that's why it required some coffee for it. Just letting y'all know now, if you've been watching my stitch fix videos, you know that my fixes are always five for five. I always get everything. I love everything. Sometimes it takes me a little warming up to like everything completely. This month was a flop. This was a complete fail. Out of the five items, I'm only keeping one. But that's good, I'm looking at it as a positive. It's kind of helping me see what things I like, what things that I really don't like, what things don't look good on me. And I really, really tried to like these things, but they just weren't cutting it. So, unfortunately, I'm only keeping one thing. And I wasn't even gonna keep it at first, but my mom convinced me that it's a really nice piece of clothing and that I should consider keeping it. So I am gonna keep it just because of that. But yeah, so let's just go ahead and get into it. So I'm gonna start off with taking a sip of some coffee, but I'm also going to start with the items I'm not keeping and I'll end with the item I am keeping. And again, once I show you like the footage of me wearing everything, let me know your comments, what you thought of it. I don't know, I just wasn't feeling it. Not just because I didn't feel like it looked good on me, but it just wasn't my style. But again, I'm looking at it as a positive. Now, Amber D and I know what doesn't work with this. So, positive. All right, let's go. So the first item, I was kind of excited for it at first, but then when I saw it in person, ugh, just no. I have talked a lot about how I like the color yellow. Yellow does not typically look good on me, but certain shades do. Well, I asked for some more colored shorts. Um, I got a red pair of shorts last fix, and so I was like, send more colored shorts. And this is what I got this month. First of all, I don't like these kinds of shorts in general. I am a jean shorts type of person. Um, not necessarily always jeans, but just like that material. These remind me of gym shorts. I know they're not, but they remind me of gym shorts. Also, this color is putrid on me. It's like a mustard. Yeah, it's actually labeled mustard, and it is absolutely putrid against my skin. Like, if I'm gonna wear yellow, it needs to be like a bright, vibrant neon yellow, not this. So, these were an automatic no. If you personally like these types of shorts, I'm still gonna, even though I'm not keeping everything, I'm still gonna list what the items were in case you see them and you're like, well, it didn't work for you, but I kinda like it. The only thing I really liked were the tassels, except for it did kinda remind me of curtains. Anyway, these are, um, they're by Level 99 and they're the layered linen short in mustard. They were $64. Again, to me, that was a little much for these types. Like, I'd be willing to pay that for jean shorts, but not gym short looking things, so. They were a no. I really wanted to like them because they were a colored shorts. It just didn't work. I asked for more cold shoulder tops, but to me, I think I think the issue with cold shoulder tops is I like cold shoulder tops that have a little bit of a sleeve still. Not just like this little hang down thing, which I got two cold shoulder tops this fix. I'm not keeping either just because they do not look good on me. So the first one, is this top. Again, I really wanted to like this because I do like the color scheme. It's got a yellow that I'm a bigger fan of, and I love the color scheme. I love the navy, I love the white, I love the sky blue, the yellow. It just looked like crap on me. It looks terrible. I don't know if it's the straps, but when I want a cold shoulder top, I want a little bit of a sleeve, whether it ends up being like a short sleeve or even a long sleeve. I am not a fan of just this. It just doesn't look good on me. I have really broad shoulders. I just, I don't know. I tried really hard to like this top and it just does not look good on me. It's also very see-through-ish. Um, I don't know if you can really see on camera, but you can see my hand through that. And so I just was not feeling this. But if you're feeling this top in all its glory, it is by Vince Camuto and it is the Tadinia Cold Shoulder Cotton Top in blue, despite the fact that it's like multiple colors. And it is $78. Again, that was a little much, especially considering, like it's a nice airy top, like very flowy, very, very comfortable. 
I mean, it's a very comfortable top. It just, it was not working for me. Next up, we have the other cold shoulder top. I thought at first I might keep this one, but then the more that I wore it, the more that I like kind of just played with it a little bit and looked at it, I, no. So again, it is a cold shoulder top. Again, it's got like this little thing. I don't consider this a sleeve. Um, it's just a piece of fabric. I don't know. The print is not me. I like floral prints, but this just, I don't know what was going on here. Like I like the flowers that are on here, but I, eh. Also kind of reminds me of a doily. Isn't that what they're called? Those like crochet looking things, I don't know. But it kind of looks like that. There are some details in there that look a little bit like a doily. But yeah, the, it, the only thing that I truly liked about it was that the neckline kind of dipped a little bit, but not a lot. Um, it just it just did not look good on me. And it, I'm so upset that I did not like the things this month, but trying to look at it as a positive. Now I know what I don't like. But if you yourself are interested in this top, it is the, it is by Sanctuary. It is the Guyana, Guyana? Guyana Cold Shoulder Eyelet Top in white, size small, $68. These tops are expensive, y'all. But yeah, it just, it did not look good on me. The final item that I am definitely sending back are some earrings. And I still got like a video shot of what they look like on me. I think I would have liked them if I didn't have all my piercings. But with all of these, it did not look good. So they are these earrings right here. They're really cute. I mean, I like them, but they just didn't look good on me. So they do like, this part is the part that goes through the lobe, repairs and whatever. Um, it's got that kind of backing on it. But I don't know. I, I really think it's because of how many piercings I have and how much jewelry I have in my ears that I really don't like that. Um, I like more of the dangle kind, not the ones that go through like this. So I like more of the dangly ones to go with everything else. Maybe I should switch my Stitch Fix like requests around a little bit and just say, don't send me earrings, um, unless they're danglies. Yeah, they just didn't, they didn't look good on me. So alas, they're going back. If you are interested in them yourself though, they are by Bancroft. They are the Maribel Linked Drop Hoop Earring in silver, $28. Now, for the item that I will be keeping, I am keeping this for mainly for two reasons. One is I love the color. It is like a really deep green and it looks nice on me. I love the color. I'm also keeping it because it is a maxi dress and I don't have many maxi dresses so I really like it. Nice and long, nice and flowy, very, very comfortable. I will say I am not a huge fan of the rope at the top. That's like, the, the makes the neckline. I really am not a fan of that. However, I can look past that because it does look good on me. And I can always wear like a jean jacket to cover that up. That's the only thing I don't like about it. But other than that, I do like it mostly because the color is really pretty and it's comfortable. So that dress is by Market and Spruce, which I love Market and Spruce. So there's that. It is the Araceli, Araceli. Everything will be listed below, actually spelled out in case I'm pronouncing everything wrong. The Araceli Knit Maxi Dress in dark green, $78. Which, the fact that this maxi dress is the same price as the striped cold shoulder top, it's another reason why I'm not getting that cold shoulder top. That, that price was a little much for that kind of a top. So that is the only one that I am keeping this month. It's It's been a while since I haven't kept everything in my fixes. I think like maybe the first two that and I didn't even film those, I just got them. But yeah, so I think in those first like two fixes when we were still trying to figure out my style, Amber and I were trying to figure out one another, things like that. I set back most things, kept like one or two in each fix. And then we kind of got into the feel of what I liked, what would look good on me. Again, I'm being positive about this box, even though I'm very sad that I'm only keeping one item, especially after all of these boxes just being like, 
spot on every single time. It's, it's a learning thing. We now know what does not look good on me and what I personally just don't like. But that is it for this Stitch Fix unboxing video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Go on down there and hit that subscribe button wherever it may be. You should also start hitting that little bell if you haven't yet so that you get notifications about when I post because that'd be cool. So until next time, bye guys. Need some coffee to drown my sorrows. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>